Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Fent Noobs World of Tanks with the Flying Fent. This is episode number 94. Take a look at this. Fury. Uh, it comes out uh, tomorrow. This I'm recording this on Thursday. I actually lost the day. Uh, so it's a good thing that I do record in advance because there you go. There'd be no videos. Uh, yeah, I lost a day because some stuff happened. Um, and it caused me to upgrade my computer. I'll just put it that way. That's probably the simplest way to do it. So I'm now running a Core i7. Uh, 4790K with a nice new fancy upgraded motherboard. Uh, I still run some pretty slow hard drives, and that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. Figured while I was at, got a new video card as well, running a GTX 660. Not cutting edge, but certainly better than the, I think, 450 or whatever it is I had previously. Uh, yeah, so I've gone ahead and, and turned up the settings, because uh, I'm curious to see if they're going to be playable with this. We did also lose, I should mention this, the thing that happened caused us to lose a game. I believe it was in the M24 light tank. I played the match. It was on um, Province. Um, the audio was very choppy. The game was very choppy. Um, it, it was very poor. Uh, I didn't really have a good turnout. I don't know how much experience I made. I don't think it was very much. I actually should say in here, shouldn't it? Oh, no, it's already gone. We lost. Is there a way? Can you get into your history? If your last, can we check out our last battle result? I don't think we can, can we? No. It's gone forever. Um, I don't know if we won or lost. I'll be completely honest. I don't know. But um, my performance wasn't great. So I probably have a little bit more experience and a little bit more money than the last time you saw me. And that's what you missed was one battle in province in, uh, in the M2 light tank. All right. So for today, let's go ahead and let's uh, hop in with our M2 light tank. Uh, and just so you know, I do want to get a new microphone as well. Um, I'm curious to see if some of the audio issues I have are based on my room and the echoes and reverb and all that type of stuff, or if it's partly due to the microphone. So I'd like to get a, a new microphone uh, to test that with. Plus, I mean, I'm one of those guys, I like having a backup. Uh, so if this thing were to die, I don't have to run out and buy a new one. So, you know, there's that. Uh, so yeah, I'll go out and I'll get a microphone, uh, I don't know when. Sometime this weekend, I hope. Uh, I'm probably going to go out tomorrow, actually, and watch Fury. Because it looks, the movie looks amazing, I think. Uh, I hadn't even heard of it until World of Tanks started talking about it. And I was like, what are they? Oh, oh yes, and all my settings, of course, are redone. Oh, yes. Hmm. Well, um, we're not in colorblind mode, so if you're colorblind, I apologize. I will fix that. Do I have time to fix that now real quick? I don't even... Where was that even? Uh... Uh... Yeah, I want... Why would server reticle not be on by default? Um, sorry guys, I'm not quite there yet. As you can see, I went to maximum graphics. Stuff's exploding all over the place. Marker, where is colorblind mode? Sensor, I don't care about that. Hide spam, display date, except to remember, save battle chat, vehicle, enable post effect, enable dynamic camera, display marks of excellence. I don't know where it is, and I can't keep poking around. We gotta we gotta get to war here. Let's go. I'm gonna go this way. So I didn't die, but I'm a little late to the party. You know, the non-colorblind mode is really nice. That red really stands out. Uh, and I didn't know that server reticle was obviously off um, in previous recordings that I have made. And uh, it should not have been. I read about it, and I didn't think anything of it. Because someone had said, oh, you should turn it off. So I just kind of assumed it would always be on, but it is obviously not always on. Uh, because I just had to turn it on. Holy smokes, I just penetrated a T-18. I didn't even know that was a thing. And get through that time. What are you guys backing up for? It's a it's a it's a light tractor. It's a piece of cake. That one didn't go through. 
We didn't even scratch them. So I penetrated this T-18 once, and now I can't get through for the life of me. Well, T-18's pulling back now. Uh, and now the T-18 is dead. It's five to eight. We aren't... Behind! Oh, crap. Alright, back to the garage. Didn't realize they were uh, coming up from behind. What a nice background. This is such a nice garage. I like this. Makes me want to see the movie even more. Uh, oh wow, even when I spin this on ultra high, in my recording software right about now, there'd usually be a little option at the bottom that says CPU usage is dangerously high, uh, but I'm getting none of that. That's fantastic. All right, T18, let's, uh, let's go. Let's see what you can do. I wish I know how I penetrated that guy in the last fight. I do that all the time. Uh, that'll probably be a lost though in the last video, unfortunately. Uh, here we are in Ensk. Maybe we can turn this around. If you happen to watch any of my other series, by the way, uh, in both of those, I tried to record uh, a work period in advance. So, like, if I'm going to work for five days, starting on say Monday, let's let's say that next week I work Monday to Friday. I don't think I am. No, I'm not. But let's say next week I work Monday to Friday. On days off, like let's say I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Friday and Saturday, Sunday, I try to record enough of my other series to last until the end of that cycle. So to get me through until Friday. Uh, and then during the week, I will record videos kind of as I have time during my work week. And then again, at the end of that work cycle, I'll record whatever I need to to get to the end. So usually I'm... I would say about four days, if you average it out, three or four days ahead in my other series. So some of them, and I might even be further ahead because I knew something was going to happen. I, I I just had that feeling that my computer was going to require major overhaul work. Oh, I didn't turn on colorblind mode. Darn it. Somebody remind me to do that, even though you're not physically here. Um... I kind of hunched that was going on, so they might be a little bit further ahead, so I'm not quite sure when those will get updated. When you'll start seeing the new system uh, doing the processing for them, but um, I can't. I was like, why can't I turn? Because I'm up against the wall. That's why I can't turn. Oh, 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 oh. Penetration. That was a good shot. And now he's behind a building. Oh, here comes a Panzer 1C. Wow. Wow. How come I can't penetrate a T-18 with anything and these guys are doing it with, like, these lower tier tanks? What's going on there? So we lost on Himmelsdorf. Okay. All right. So where is... Hide, accept, remember position, remember position, save, battle, minimap, transparency, enable optics, enable post, dynamic camera. Marks of excellence. I still don't know what that means. I don't know. So it's not in there, quite obviously. Vertical sync, vertical filter, colorblind mode. Apply. There we go. All right. So if you're colorblind, you should be okay now uh, moving forward. Uh, so we didn't win that battle in our M2, so let's go ahead and try and win it in this one. And, oh, look, there's tanks rolling by in the background. I want to exit battle. Let's see what's going on here. Is there like a fight going on? Are you guys going to engage combat? No? No, you're just driving across the field. Still cool. That's still cool. Alright, battle it is. Oh, what a nice garage. Uh, and I just realized too, I don't know, maybe this was common knowledge to everybody else. There's a world of warplanes. Uh, how did I not know that? I have downloaded, I haven't installed because I had computer issues, but I downloaded. That, which I guess doesn't mean much, right? You download the installer, and then the installer has to download like 12 gigs of game. So I don't, 
But I guess I shouldn't really say I have a download. I've downloaded the installer. I'll get it installed. I can give it a try when uh, Craft the World is done, which I think is coming up soon. Um, and then... Then what? Then yeah, I might try uh, World of Warplanes. I don't know if I'll do a series on it. Mm, yeah. Um, and there's also a World of Battleships or something. Some naval type thing that's going to be coming out. Now I'm not a, a Navy guy. I was never in the Navy, but that sounds amazing. Especially when they talk about like you can control fleets and it sounds incredible. It really does sound incredible. So I'm very much looking forward to giving both of those a shot. Like I said, whether or not I record them, I don't We'll have to see. I've noticed that my Dwarf Fortress series uh, has taken off. It has become extremely popular. So I might try to do some more Dwarf Fortress-like games. Um, but I don't... There's not a lot of them, and I find they can get pretty repetitive. Uh, and most of them, personally, I feel like are a little light on the content. You know, you kind of run through, you do the thing, and then... There's not much to do for a bit. Stuck against the wall again. He's over there somewhere. Well, that shot wasn't even close. I don't know where this guy went. Let's move up a little bit more. I know it's dangerous, I'm moving up without support, but... I figure there's a lot of guys kind of right on the side there, so we're not completely exposed, you know? That's my thinking at least, whether or not it's any good, we'll have to see. When I come around this corner, if I get hit by eight tank destroyers, whoop! Uh, and see, this is just a simple wall that anybody can shoot through, so this is not exactly good cover. But he could barely hurt me, and then my teammates killed him. So that was good. What was I was gonna say, is there rock and roll music in the background? It sounds like there is. I think I had music off before. Uh, and I think it was better that way. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music off again, as soon as I get a chance to. Of course, I say that, and then around the corner and see there's a T-18 sitting here. I'm just going to go right by the T-18. That guy's got him pinned. He's busy. I'll come up from behind on the T-18. Possibly some of these other peoples. Is anyone around the corner here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, somebody is right here. T-57, right? And he can see me. Did some good damage to me. Teammates don't seem to be supporting him. Oh, I say that as a T-18 comes around the corner. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oof, that was close. I mean, I'm not in the woods yet. I certainly don't have much health. This T-18's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, this T-57 is one of the few artillery that it seems can fend for itself, and it can fend for itself pretty well. Oh, <laughs> everyone's just here facing off against this T-18. Now here comes a medium two to join the fray. Gotta keep an eye out for that T-57 to pop out over there. Oh, was he on fire? I think he was on fire. He's uh, joining on the spot with the fire extinguisher. That or he's got the automatic one. All right, T-18's dead. We have excessive amounts of support in this corner now. now those guys are going that way. I'm going to come this way because I suspect that T57 didn't just sit there. No, oh, no, he did just sit there. So you going to blow up that T18 before the T18 can get a shot off? No, nope, T18 got got to him. Sounds good. 
So now we're rolling into the cap circle. I'm going to come way in the corner here. I think you've seen me hide out here before. I'm going to keep an eye kind of in these two directions. Enemy armor is damaged. Bail oh, up. there this we go. Well, we still got a chance. My teammate should be ready for that guy now. Look at this, the battle of the T-18s. Woof. One hit kill. There we go. Uh, setting, sound, music, zero. There we go, much better. Oh, no, no, I want to stay and watch this. This is exciting. This is an exciting match. I mean, look, it's 13 to 12. People are trying to move into our cap circle. Now, they have two. This is the last guy left. Both of their guys are in our cap circle. But they're going to be capping faster. I think they're going to win. This guy had to be at 50%. That was a close match. I was thinking that guy should have sat in the cap circle and they could have won, but uh, obviously he is better than me because he came out, got a kill, got a win by kill. That's good for him. So, uh, yeah, we played a bunch of games and lost them all. And our uh, win ratio continues to go south. Uh, but we're going to keep working. I don't know if I'll do any more M2 like tank fat battles. I've done, like, what, three today already? Two or three. Plus, as one the previous episode, I might just do T18 and then move on through my uh, my French tanks. Uh, but we'll see. That'll be in a future episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.